once a day that I would pray. Welcome to the Inspirational Latin Awards 2023. This event celebrates people and institutions that contribute to strengthening the Latin community here in British Columbia. So follow me. A first time, a first day, you're so fine, I'm so late. You sip wine, I drink straight, don't waste time to my place. I'm here with Paola Morillo. She's the director and founder from Latin Cuba. Paola, tell us about uh, how is this feeling? We started in 2012, pandemic arrived, we didn't do it. But it's again, you know, like I feel like celebrating people who hasn't stopped believing in themselves and representing our community is the most important. And second is because after the event, there are going to be many people that will be inspired. So the impact that we're doing here with Latin Cuba is that we recognize the people who are making a difference from the, you know, for BC, Canada, Vancouver, but then also we're sparring so many other people. I love the Latin American community as all. I believe that you work together, everything is possible. And that's what I like of Latin Cuba. That's what we work with Latin Cuba since the beginning, since the first day. Because it's everybody from Latin America in this beautiful Canada. I am so inspired. And honestly, I'm looking so forward to next year. Excited about next year because this is such an you know, inspirational event where we can not just celebrate, but also turn that inspiration into the business community, into the entrepreneurs. And there are people who will be sitting in the audience today and feeling, you know what, I want to start a business. I needed this. Do you know what I mean? Well, the, the Latino community here in British Columbia is a dynamic, rapidly growing community. And it was very genuinely inspirational to hear many of the stories from different parts of the community, whether it's from business, from uh, the social side, uh, and uh, particularly dramatic was arts and culture, really, uh, in, really impactful. In Canada, we take pride in our multicultural heritage and recognize the valuable role that immigrants, such me, such you, play in this shaping of Canada, our nation. I just wanted to tell us how is it's your feeling about being here today inspiring a lot of people. I feel so proud and I'm very honored for this prize because I didn't expect it. I really worked hard but I didn't expect it and for me it's like to create community as I say in the video. This is what I learned here that we can do things for others and this is my main goal. I have to say, la mitad de mi corazón está en Chile. So half of my heart stayed in Chile. So I'm very, I'm, I'm very much connected to the Latin community, one way or another. So uh, it's been really good for me, um, being able to do what I've been doing in these last years has, has really supported me through some difficult times. And what's great is that I've been able to support many people who now are doing the same kind of support work from when they came. So it's great to see how the circle is going round. This, this award means a lot to me. I mean, it, is, it inspired me to keep doing what I'm doing, helping and guiding people, providing them with right information so they can come apply uh, for a study work permit and deal with the immigration process.
Well, it's uh, for me, it's been an honor, honestly, to be nominated, first of all, and then to be recognized for all the, all the hard work that we have been doing, no, not just me. It is my team, you know, it is my business partners, it is all my community that has always been helping me. There is people in here in this event from the community that has been supporting me for since I was uh, cleaning bathrooms when I started my first cleaning company. So for me, it's a real honor to actually help somebody else if I can even inspire a bit. I'm really happy this prize. I wasn't expecting uh, to get the, the prize because uh, there were a very good nominees in, the, in this category. But uh, I'm really happy to do and to get the, the prize and to keep working for the people.